Hello and welcome to day 19 of 30 Days of Lightroom. Today we're going to show you how to get the most out of your photos by converting them to black and white. Welcome back to our series where we teach you literally everything you need to know about Lightroom Classic in 30 days. Today we're talking black and white photography. Now there's some really great controls within Lightroom for creating black and white images. You can actually change all of the different color levels in your photo and it's going to determine how bright those individual colors are. You can push and pull so much, make beautiful black and white photos. And we're going to color grade this after to give a little bit of a sepia effect. So here we are in Lightroom. You can see we have a raw photograph that you can download totally free. Just follow the link right down below. That way you can follow along. You can see all of our settings used to capture this image. But what we're going to be doing here is going into our develop tab today. And right here where it says basic, we're going to go at the very top and go to black and white. So let's go ahead and click on black and white. Now, when you click on black and white, we're going to go ahead and close down this basic tab here. When you click on black and white, you have this brand new tab for black and white. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now with this tab, this is actually super cool because you have your black and white mix. Now with this, you can take literally any color here and you can click and drag this to the left or the right. And what this is going to do is in this case, we have this red slider here. Anything that's red in the original image, you can make darker or lighter. So you can just have so much control over your image. Now there is an auto button right here. It's a good place to start. Let's go click on auto and see how that looks. You can see it adjusted everything but you don't have to do that. You can just go through every single one of these settings and decide how much light you'd like to bring in. Like that's already looking very cool. Let's hit the before on that. And by bringing our oranges up like that, look how much more beautiful contrast we have. So I recommend going through each one of these sliders and changing them on your own. Now you also have this little icon here, which will allow you to adjust the black and white mix by clicking and dragging on your image. So let's go over to this area on the image. All you have to do is click and drag up and you can see it's going to make that area brighter or darker. Now this is based on color. So it's not going to be just that like area that I actually clicked on. It's not going to be this piece of metal here. It's going to be the color of what that metal was originally. So this is a helpful tip, but I kind of like just doing these sliders. I like going back and forth on these and kind of seeing how each of these looks and, you know, kind of creating an image that has a nice contrast. Here we go. Some stuff that, you know, I might not have thought of originally, but you know, this is, this is looking really good. And I think it's fun. I, I actually really like making black and white images. I think they're a little bit underrated and uh, this looks really good. Now, keep in mind, even after you've done your black and white mix, you can still go back into your basic editing. And for instance, if you want to adjust your exposure or contrast, let's try making a little bit more or less contrast. Ooh, this is kind of cool, right? A little bit less of a contrast image and we can work on our exposure just a little bit as well. I think that looks great. And then also sometimes what can look good with a little bit of texture and clarity for black and white images. So let's just add a little bit of texture and a little bit of clarity. There we go. And we're really standing out now. All right, I like that quite a bit. So this is really great for black and white. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click uh, the slash key right above enter or return. So this is our before. So this is the photo as it was photographed and here's the after. I think like we had a lot of beautiful colors in before, but the after just, it's a really, really stunning photo and I like it quite a bit. Now, the other thing that I wanna show you, and this is really cool because we've already gone to basic, we've already turned it black and white and we've already done our black and white mix. But we can then, after all this is done, we can add color back over top of it to give us that color tone. Maybe you want a sepia effect. Me, keep it subtle. You know, you don't want to go crazy. But if you go right here into color grading, then you can see where you have your shadows, midtones, and highlights here. You can add colors. So here's how I would recommend doing this. I like to take my central center slider here, this center point, and just take it all the way out to the edge to start with. And that helps me see the color. Then, okay, so you have two little controls. You have this one inside of the circle and this one outside of the circle. So then let's grab the one on the outside of the circle and move it around. And this helps us really get an idea of the color we're gonna be introducing. All right, so I kind of like this color. That, that looks really nice there. But then we're gonna take this center slider and I'm gonna make it less strong, okay? We're going to get a much more subtle effect. There we go, that's looking a lot better. Kind of like a aged rustic photo. Okay, let's do the same thing with our highlights. So again, I like to take this center slider and drag it all the way to the edge, okay? It's too much, but it helps me see what color I'm adding. 
Then I take this external slider and I just move this all the way around the color wheel and that helps me. Ooh, I kind of like this like really yellow color there. Something like that looks really good. Now, maybe it's just a little warmer and then we're gonna take this and make it a lot more subtle. So we just have a little bit of that color there as well. Don't forget, you can also adjust your brightness of the highlights here, just like this, okay? And you can adjust the brightness of your shadows with this one here, okay? So if you wanted to make a little bit more contrast, you could do that. Of course, you could go into your midtones as well and add some color, again, go all the way to the edge, kind of rotate this around until you see what you like. Oh, I kind of like this blue color, but again, you know what? Let's make it a lot more subtle. So let's get that blue color. You can go all the way to the edge, dial in the exact blue that you want, and then click here and make it a little bit more subtle. I like that. That's really, really cool. Okay. Yeah, just super subtle like that. Now, right here in color grading, okay, let's just make sure we click on this eyeball. So there's a before and the after. So the before is completely black and white, no color information. Here in the after, we have a little bit of that color toning. So the choice is totally up to yours, up to you. If you wanna reset this, like I wanna reset this blue, just double click. Like you could have this anywhere in there. You just double click right there and that'll reset it back to this place. I like this a little bit better where it's just warm. So here's our color grading. Again, we can just click here. There's our before and our after. And I'm gonna click on that slash key that's right above enter or return. And that's gonna show me the before and the after for all of my editing. And that's all you need to know about black and white editing in Lightroom. You can still use your masking. You can still adjust exposure, contrast, all of those other settings. But that black and white mix is so powerful and I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to get more free tutorials, click on subscribe. Thank you so much and I will learn you later. Bye everyone.